Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Somebody on me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you into the Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So, interesting, interestingly enough, the last place we left off was that we had just met some stranger in the park who was offering us sex drugs. <laughs> Freaking weird as that sounds. And I guess today we're giving the ice cream thing a second shot. I don't know. This game is so is both confusing and wonderfully silly. Anyway, guys, let's jump right into it. Please sit back and enjoy. Let me change you for the next 20 minutes. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's jump right into it. All right, here we go. <laughs> that, <laughs> and he's a virgin. Well, you're weird too, you know. I am not. You are. You're buff, but don't do anything with it. You pee in the shower. You don't eat the egg whites and fried eggs. You sniff Leo's underwear often. <laughs> what else? Oh. Hmm. See a little bit of a uh, similarity there to Carvin, hmm? I just wanted to compare it if his horse stinks more than mine. <laughs> I'm right with the underwear one, aren't I? Yes. I knew it. And no, I am not weird. Stop fighting, you two. We're just in an argument whether you're weird or not. Hmm. I do drink coffee in the shower. That is a little odd. Not the oddest thing you can do, though. See? Anyway, you two go on ahead. I'll be going back to check on things in the shop. Well, time we'll be back. Before lunch. Stay safe, you two. He taps on the wolf's shoulder. Looks him at looks him at in the eye. Looks at him in the eye. Then bats an eye at me. The wolf winks back, shooting his finger guns. Ugh. What? Watch over Ludus. Oh, gotcha. Just, just... Finger guns. Pow, pow. <laughs> Good luck, kid. <laughs> so, where should we start? I don't know. I'm not the sales expert. May I suggest a place to start at least? Hmm. How about over there? He points to a clear brick path. Lots of tree shade. Not too many people to be anxious with. Alrighty, let's go. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. You're gonna get something. Something was gonna happen. Hmm. <laughs> Funny. Hmm? How people have so different lives. So many different ways to live. It's really cool to think about it. Don't you go crying on me. Ah, come on now. Is it illegal for me to have deep thoughts every once in a while? I know you think about a lot of things too, right? I push the trolley forward. I guess. Sometimes I do. I know for a fact that you cry a lot often too. I just get sad sometimes. I can't really help it. Especially when I remember... Things... It still hits me really hard. I get you. Don't worry. I took a deep breath in the fresh gust. I took a deep breath of the fresh gust of wind. The same minty smell from yesterday seeps into my nose. I couldn't help but chuckle. I never really had a chance to read any of your books. What are they about? My books, huh? Well, two of my novellas were about some comedy, and I was, and one was a novel. The novel was about a wolf that is heir to the throne, set in a futuristic world with magic and swords. So, like. Final Fantasy 15? I'm sorry, Finale Fantasy 15. <laughs> Somewhat. It's got a good romance plot, unlike the game. By the way, where did you know? Where did you know about FF15? I have a phone, you know. I like watching people play these kinds of games. Why don't you try playing it on my laptop then? You have it on your laptop? Well, yeah. You could ask. You could just ask. All right. Though I don't know how to play games on a laptop. What? I don't know how to play games on a lap. <sighs> okay. I'm still a noob at technology. <laughs> Did I use that word right? A new- Oh my god, so cringe. Mm-hmm, I'll teach you when we get home. Nice! Man, how do you not know how to use a laptop? I live near the mountains? Oh, that's fair. All we have is fire and wood. Though, we did have electricity back when we still lived at the town. Too bad we moved away from there. Oh, right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> I, I write poems too, you know. I don't just write books. Want to hear a sample? Oh, sure. All right, here goes. I am deeply concerned about this part. <clears throat> My magnum opus. The sky is so bright and blue. How I wonder why it is so bright, blue, magnificent, beautiful, amazing, and majestic. <laughs> like the ocean, as I stare, bright, blue, magnificent, beautiful, clean, fresh, breezy, and amazing. Um, what? 
What? It's a poem. I mean, I don't think poems are supposed to sound like that. <laughs> it's too, I don't know, too much? Huh. I always thought describing things more makes it prettier. I think you should tone it down a little. Well, there goes my magnum opus. Capiche? By the way, don't tell me how you... Don't tell me that's how you describe things in your novel, too. I actually do. But I hired an editor. And? I hired more editors because the other editor said he couldn't edit all 50,000 words of some nonsense. The nerves he's got. I ended up doing so anyway, since he really, he's, since he really insisted. I think you should work more on your writing stuff. I'm already good at it. You can always learn more stuff about it. Hmm. Meh, maybe I would. Speaking of which, you haven't told me anything about your talents, other than axe-throwing. Hmm? Oh, I don't really do much. All I know is some basic camping skills. And throwing axes. What are you gonna do with the axe-throwing, though? I don't know. Maybe if I'm pissed at someone, I can always... I just heard a throwing motion. Yeesh! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Throw an axe at someone who annoys you. Also, what happened yesterday? Hmm? What do you... A faint image of the wolf grabbing Leo's crotch flashed inside my head. Whatever happened to that guy? Hope he's okay, at least. It was quite bizarre, too. I don't, th I don't think anyone would go pouncing on someone like that if they took a sex-enhancing pill or powder. Really? My mind was hazy when I tasted the thing. Like, I felt really hot and tingly. Like, bread. <laughs> bread? Yeah, you know, bread. I am bread. It gets heated up and expands, and it looks all tingly when it rises and pops up. That's just weird. Bread doesn't... Bread is... Breads don't feel anything. You're not bread. Are you? I poked his sides. Ah! Hey! This is so silly. This whole thing is so silly. I'm like bread. I'm like a giant muscular piece of bread. I managed to sell 15 cones before lunch. Wolf is sitting on a well-shaded bench, tapping away on his phone. It's getting really hot. I wipe away the sweat from my temples. My stand-in should be here by now. Hmm? Oh! Yeah, kind of getting late. Boys! Leo waves in the distance. Alongside him is the same panther from yesterday. About time. Woo. It's a little bit too hot today, don't you think? Yeah, it is. Will he be okay? I point at the dude next to him. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of voice I should do for this person. He'll be fine. I sprayed some coolant on my fur before going out the, s going out the sun. Coolant? What kind of coolant are we talking about here? Well, shall we go now? Yeah, I'm starving. Mm-hmm. Where are we going to eat, though? I said we go to the same place. The chicken there is just too good to pass. We're going to die of malnutrition with this wolf. That's just my choice, anyway. Not like i got to save for yours. So I would be best assuming you have your money with you. <laughs> I thought so. How about we eat here today? How about we eat there today? Then we eat someplace else tomorrow. And of course, Leo gets to decide. We would also be paying a visit at a we would also be paying a visit at a friend there at JFC's. You don't mean Yeah, the tiger dude. Uh <clears throat> <clears throat> He's really nice, Lo. You should get to know him better. Maybe even, you know. He elbows the lion. Hm. <laughs> Distasteful. <laughs> Let's go, let's go! Fine. <laughs> That's cute. So what did you do earlier, Lo? I was looking after the shop. One of my employees took a leave, so I had to cover for him. Gee, it must be really exhausting. You need a hand there? I can keep an eye out for your ice cream for you. The last time I let you in there was when you ate an entire bucket of strawberry ice cream on display. People even thought you were some kind of mascot. Is that a yes, then? No. The wolf cackled. <laughs> JFC. <laughs> ah. We settled in one of the cushioned seats near the window, just like yesterday. The wolf sat beside me while Leo faced us. Woo! Finally, it's cool in here. I took my head off, my first stiffened from the chill. I'm going to have to cleanse myself with a stack of salad after this. Come on, Lo, we're carnivores, not herb addicts. That does not mean we should only eat meat. <clears throat> Sorry, that does not mean we should only eat meat. Oh, whatever. There aren't much people at this lunchtime. Wasn't this place te wasn't this place teeming with customers yesterday? Yeah, I wonder too. Looking around, the amount of people were countable. Unlike yesterday, where almost all the seats were taken, now there's just about ten felines and canines. 
Counting the tiger janitor, there's 14 of us on all, there's 14 of us in all in here. The janitor. Is it that? The tiger approaches with a lively smile. <laughs> Hello! Having lunch here today, I see. Yep, we're gonna come back again tomorrow. Why are you cleaning, by the way? Aren't you supposed to be at the cash register? You see, if the days are slow like these, I do both work so I can earn the extra buck. It's a hassle, but the pay is worth it. Didn't you have a janitor here? I saw another guy yesterday. There is. He's sleeping in the stock room. So would you like to have your orders? I'll have my usual. <laughs> how do you, yeah, I'm about to say, how do you, you've only been here once. Do you even have a usual? Nah. Eh. <laughs> We follow the tiger to the counter. I watched the lion's backside at his, mi at his midget tail that gracefully waved as he walked. I never asked him how his tail came to be like that. Way smaller than an average lion should be. All I heard him say about his tail was that it was cut in half. I love those burgers and fries. Same as yesterday. I love the same. I stared at his tail that moved side to side playfully. The urge to grab it is now stronger than ever. Grab. <laughs> he turns to me. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, it just looks so cute. Sir Hauser. What? Sorry. I just wanted to say that I've been quite a fan of your products. The ice cream you make. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll keep coming back for more in your shop. Shame you aren't there whenever I visit. Hmm, I'll have a ton. I have a ton of things on my schedule, so I don't have much time to spend it there. I kept playing with his tail, trying to chase it with my hands as it moved frantically. He swats my hand off. And I also and I also have two children to take care of. But I'm twenty! I frown. Exactly. I see. I have siblings myself. They're quite the handful. Especially when one is on the unique side. I can hear you. Hm. Tell me about it. Guilt entered my chest and I stopped playing with his tail. It whips gently on my muzzle. The fur made my nose flare up in itchiness. A tiger made clicking taps with his paw on the cash register while another worker brought the food on the counter. And that'll be twenty-five fifty. Leah reaches for his pockets, his hands anxiously searching. In just a minute. Leo? Uh-oh. He turns to me. Do you happen to have twenty-five on you, kid? Hold on, I think I have something. I pull out a ten from my pocket. This is what I earned earlier. He, wait, whoa, whoa he earned... Ten dollars for selling fifteen cones of ice cream? What? I'll give it back to you later, okay? Leo slowly turned back to him. Seth smiled just as bright as before. I'm really sorry, but I forgot my wallet back at home. He dips his head on the counter, handing the two bills over his head. Hey, hey, it's all right. Tell you what, I'll cover it for you today. Then, if you have the time, you can come back and pay me tomorrow. Of course, of course. He fixes his hair back. You didn't have to bow, though. I should be doing that. What I did to you yesterday was already shameful enough of me. He scratches his head, timidly looking away. I guess we're even. Aye, mate. He grinned. They stared at each, they stared at each other's eyes. <laughs> Here, you can go now. Ah, mm, yes. Let me carry these, kid. <laughs> hey! What happened back there? Leo planted all his face on the table. The plates clattered his landing. I had to beg for your food. He, sli he slightly growled, his face still planted. But... Whew! You should have told me to bring my wallet then. <laughs> the wolf dug into his meal. I did the same. Leo? I poked his ear. It flicked. I poked it once more. <laughs> he growled. His cast shade on me. His cast shade on me a mountain, eyes glowing blue in rage. I quickly back away. The wolf slides a, slides a fry between his lips. Leo munches it down and his shoulders go flat. He falls back into his chair. Mmm. <laughs> he calms down in size. Jeez, what the hell's wrong with you? Leo points to his open mouth. I shove in another fry. He munched. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm a little stressed. God, what is this feeling? What feeling? I'm not sure myself. Anxious, frightened, but happy? He opened his mouth. I slide another fry in. Huh. Why, though? I say he's in love. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What? With who? 
I don't know. Seth, maybe. He gobbled down a chunk of meat. I am not too comfortable with this feeling. Especially with him. Who's the unique one now, you 40-year-old virgin? You utter another word and I will have you and I will have you walk your way home. <laughs> Hold a fry between his lips. He slowly eats it despite the stern gaze. More! Hold another fry near his mouth. Mmm. <laughs> this whole thing is so funny. This is really tasty. The way he's eating his fries with that fucking stern look on his face. And mm. After I finished my food, I watched Leo lazily lift a fry to his mouth. Each bite of, of the potato crunches. Say cheese. The wolf takes a picture of the sad lion with his phone. Who's a big sad lion? Can you do a sad meow for me? I am not in the mood. Look at the camera. He turned away. We are here. Live and alive in the lion's territory. See the majestic beast as he carefully lays his fingers on the prey. A beautiful white long strip of french fry. <sighs> with a bite with his glistening sharp fangs, the prey goes down swiftly in a crunch. <sighs> Jeez, would it kill you to smile at least? <laughs> hmm, how about this? The wolf takes a fry and holds it to Leo's mouth. Say ya! Uh... The roar, Leo pounces onto the fry, pounces onto the fry with his mouth. Quicker than a heartbeat, Leo's with the, blah, quicker than a heartbeat, the wolf's fingers inside the lion's sharp fanged mouth. <laughs> oh god! He licks the wolf's finger clean, then grins. Ha! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. The wild lion is a ferocious animal. Do not approach one, I repeat. Do not approach. He tucks his phone back into his pocket, his lips quivering. It always looks so terrifying when you make that face. <laughs> well, ready to get going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Seth, you want to hang out later after your shift? <laughs> Aye, gladly. I'll meet you there. I love how stern Leo is about everything. Um, Ludus, where's your cap? Huh? I felt my head. I could have sworn I was wearing it earlier. Yeah, right, I almost forgot. It's on the table. Mr. Leo! The tiger rushes to us, waving a black cap while his belly bounced up and down. Mr. Leo! Your cap! Oh, thank you. The tiger hands it to him. Their palms brush against each other as the lion grabs the cap. Have a good day. Leo stared at the cap. Low. Low! Leo! Old man! No, right. Let's get going. And I am not old. He, t he tightly slides the cap onto my head. Ah! My, cat, my scalp burns. Sorry, sorry. It's fine. You're acting a little strange. I am. Huh. Let's just go. Do you know that lions sleep up to 16 hours a day? <sighs> ah, great timing. Did you also know that lions use their pee to mark their territory? What are you reading? Fun facts about lions. That's a generic lion. I'm a lion. Um, duh. <clears throat> Did you know? Hey kid, do you know that Philio doesn't change his underwear for a week? What? That's not true! Did you also know that he also howls in his sleep? Oh yeah, I woke up to one of a few days back. It was very silent, though. It was more of a whimper. It's very cute. <laughs> he still does that? Well, at least I'm not gay. Oh, come on, man. Hmm? What's wrong with being one? I like guys, just like how straight men like women. Besides, you... Hmm. Never mind. I don't want to talk about that. I... He sighed. You're still afraid? Uh, uh, of what? Don't faint ignorance. You know well of what I'm talking about. He folds his arms. You'll get over it one day, silly boy. What are you guys? What are you guys talking about? About my feet? I mean, nothing. It's nothing. Really? Oh look, we're here. He jumped out of the car. Leo took a deep breath. The lemony scent of the car's air freshener now replaced with the ever cooler, if the ever cool winds and minty leaves. My shoes crunched with each step on the brick road. The sun gently warm on my fur. 
Ah, nothing like the cool afternoon winds. Don't you think so too, kid? He pulled me to his side. Mm-hmm, very calm. I turned and saw the wolf lying on the bench, snoring while, he, snoring while people's eyes glue on him. It had always been easy for him to sleep after eating. Hmm, very calming indeed. He picked up his phone and dialed the panther. All right, I'll be back before four. You do well, kid. Oh, and try to keep an eye out for Philio. He's being very useful today. He rolled his eyes. <laughs> Waving goodbye, I hid under his shade and waited for the panther. He arrived, his pink hat casting a, casting a dark shade over his face, making him look a little ominous. <laughs> Are you ready? Ah, I'm going to stop it right there. That's a perfect place to stop it, too. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We also, we hit over 1,500 subs. I am so damn happy. Thank you guys for all the love and support. On our way to 1,600. Man, and then after that, uh, a thousand, uh, 2,000. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.